This is Aurora. Within the last few hours, traitor forces have arrived in their hundreds and commandeered the facility. Commandeered? Where is Luz? Inside. They have the facility. Luz and the power source. Holy terror. Perhaps you were right, Titus. What's our theoretical? We've diverted all available forces to the Merium, but we're well below full strength. We've prepared an assault, but it has little chance of success, unless we take care of this. They're using it to draw in reinforcements. For every one of them we kill, two more show up in their place. It's heavily guarded. I'll need a combat squad, five men. I can spare three men. Next. The enemy seem to be drawing their power from this structure. What is it? We don't know. Every attempt to bring it down has failed. Your squad has developed a reputation for unconventional approaches. Any ideas? I've read of Demerion. It's a burial world. 4,000 years ago, there was a clash between the Ultramarines and the Heretics. The Sword of Atreus, a battle barge wrecked in the fighting, was laid to rest here. What of it? Records state that while its body was ruined, its engines burned bright, even as it was interred. It may not fly, but it might ram. A long shot to say the least. Worth a try. Very well then. Navigation systems are probably dead. We can't afford to miss. He's right. Someone will need to get close to the target and place a beacon. Our offensive launches in 90 minutes. The Emperor guide you, brothers. And you, sir. As you wish, Chaplain. Ensure brothers Chiron and Gadriel are in attendance. Using an ancient battle barge as a battering ram. An unorthodox approach. You disapprove. On the contrary, it is inspired thinking. Titus. I am troubled by a report I have received from the Astro Telepathica. An accusation of heresy. Her voice was puppeted by her. The lieutenant will answer. The Psyker was possessed. Your sergeant believed otherwise. I was mistaken. You attempted to incapacitate your lieutenant. Thank the Emperor, I failed. And now, the only individual capable of reaching Lord Kalgar is dead. By your hands, I will be watching all of you. Should I suspect even a flicker of corruption, I will not hesitate as you did. You are dismissed. Time to go. The enemy have amassed the majority of their forces in the Numerellian Basin. Talasa has the warp beacon. Viridian is hoping for a miracle. The rest of us will move to clear the reliquaries around the basin and establish a beachhead. 
We are facing overwhelming enemy numbers on Demerium. But the heretic filth down there have stirred the wrath of the Second Company. We will inflict upon the traitors such agony, the likes of which they have not seen since the burning of Prospero. They will suffer, they will break, and they will fall. Sons of Gilliman, for the glory of Ultramar! For the glory of Ultramar! Sire upon you. Galio, theoretically, Catacticus armor withstand a suborbital drop. Gravis is too cumbersome for our needs. Negative. Extreme risk. Dense debris fields litter the entry flight path. But if we avoid the debris, could we survive the descent? Calculating. Survival probability to 62.4136. Unacceptably low. Thank you, Galio. It is a sound strategy. Brothers, our captain's words need no further embellishment. I will speak only of practical concerns. The heretics will employ absolute deception. You will be assaulted by lies and illusion. The only true ground you will find down there will be each other. Trust only your brothers and your instincts. Now go forth and lay waste to our enemies. For the Emperor! For the Emperor!